Hey, buddy. It's Dad. It's Daddy. Happy birthday. Yeah, you having a good? Yeah, uh huh. That sounds great. Did Mom let you pick the place? All right, buddy. Look, you tell your mama. No, no, no. Daddy's uh, Daddy's got to go to work now. Okay, buddy. Yeah. I love you. All right, people, let's get this done. President Velodin will never publicly acknowledge your role in his rescue. Hopefully his return to power will be thanks enough. If not, well, I'll buy you around. In the meantime, Duca's people are pushing into Moscow. We're sending you in to support them. The crowd should draw most of the attention. I want your team to shadow the procession and make sure their way is clear. Once they're secure, we're going after Raven Rock's military head. General Bukharov is on site, coordinating final efforts. This will be a victory for the people of Russia. We're not here to save the country for them, but we'll sure as hell do what we can to make sure they win. What's up, everyone? Sinistrain's here, one back at you with more Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. This next mission up is called Invisible Bear. Objectives are to support resistance forces to push into Moscow. This was a pretty fun mission to do, an actual pretty hard mission as well. I regret to inform you there will be no commentary on this, just in the beginning and the end. Uh, just to let you guys know what I did, I didn't really have time to do commentary or anything like that. And there's only really, I guess, you know, one more mission after this, so I promise you the commentary will be back on the last mission. But I'm just giving you guys an overview of some of the challenges here, as you can see. We've got a couple of ones that we can complete very easily. The only one that's uh, really difficult is to kill at least 10 Bordak while they're still under the effects of an EMP and uh, you'll see as the mission progresses how actually difficult it is now also as you can see here as far as uh, completing the game there's only two missions left and I've got a, uh, a ghost score of 6% or above in every mission except for of course the last two that I've done so um, yeah let's keep going we won't be able to catch all of Raven's Rock in Moscow but there's one solid target General Mikhail Bukharov He's organizing the city defenses out of the old FSB headquarters. And if you move fast, you can bag him. A grenade launcher gives you firepower and versatility. High explosive, EMP, smoke. The more options you have, the more effective you're going to be. So it looks like we're finally going to be able to use some grenade launchers on this one, so that's going to be fun to, uh, to mess around with. Moscow solid. So are those Bodark assholes. You'll need serious firepower for this one. Maybe a grenade launcher to go with it. All right, so I'm going to go through some of the customization, at least of uh, some of the the way that I want to kind of, I think you should do this mission. Obviously, with uh, the tactical challenges that we have to complete, and there is a weapon challenge as well, which is the sniper. Now, I at the beginning of it, I actually try to go for the sniper, but since you have to kill enemies, um, you know, without missing, it's not only the really the the missing part; it's the when you switch a weapon and use something else. It automatically resets it to zero, so you have to pretty much have your sniper rifle out the whole time until you complete the weapon objective, and that's not the kind of game that I was going for. So I, I tried to pretty much uh, when the time came up, but then when I realized that every time I would switch it would kind of just reset, there was no point in trying anymore, I just wanted to have fun. Since we're so close to beating this game, there's only one more mission left, I figured, you know, what the hell, have some fun, who cares about if I get the challenges, you know, completed or not, and all that kind of stuff. But you'll see that uh, some of the challenges are really fun in this one as well as uh, hard. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and load out my new weapon here. I got the TAR-21. Give it a nice... Uh, the camo that I want to go is obviously because we're in Russia now, so we might as well go with Russian Digital. Now, since uh, I'm going for my assault rifle to be not suppressed... Because this is a very action-packed, this is probably, I would definitely say, the most action-packed level so far in this game. So most of the enemy encounters that you do are going to be just killing everybody on screen before you can keep going. And so because of this, it's better to equip yourself with something without a suppressor as far as your assault rifle goes. And then as well as uh, I go ahead and equip a secondary weapon which has a suppressor on it. So if there are moments that come up 
that I can take people out stealthy. You guys know I'm going to do it, and therefore I have that option with me instead of just the whole assault thing. But there's also that opportunity where you're going to be using your sniper rifle and stuff like that when you get to uh, the certain points in the map. But definitely think that the aiming laser is, is a lot better than the heartbeat sensor. As you can see, your uh, control is a lot better as well because you got that laser there. Now, uh, a lot of things have been going on in uh, my personal life. I know I haven't been able to put out a lot of uh, actual Center Strain Zero One content just because I've been so busy with work. Carrie's back, you know, I'm really trying to focus on her and I think, and I, I appreciate you guys respecting me for that and not like bombarding me with messages like, finish, 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 finish all these games, you know, rah, 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 shitty games, you know, and all that kind of stuff. That was a, a horrible uh, angry video game nerd impression there if you guys got that, but, um, Suffice to say that, you know, this game is almost done, and then I will be completing Splinter Cell. Uh, I will be taking a couple of weeks off because I'm going on leave at the end of June. Actually, Army leave, you know, it is our block leave, so it is time for us to kind of go home to our respective families and relax. You know, we've been working really, really hard. I haven't had a weekend off in two months now, and I actually have to work. This is Saturday where I'm recording this commentary. I actually have to work tomorrow on Sunday all day. So I'm trying to get this out to you guys in time, and then we can continue with Splinter Cell. So to finish up here, let's... Um Go ahead and switch up. Obviously, I told you guys that we're going to switch and make sure we have a nice L22A2 as our secondary weapon. Make sure we got the suppressor on there, and it's pretty much outfitted everything that I want to do, except we need to switch back over to the Russian Digital, because you want your weapons to be, you know, kind of matched up together and look the same. Now, I haven't really noticed. I think this is just pretty much a cosmetic kind of advantage. Uh, when you're invisible, you know, you're invisible, so it's just like they're not going to see the, the camo on your weapon. It's not going to give you away any more than your dumbassness if you're not doing the game the way it's supposed to be played. So instead of using sensors, I decided to go ahead and stick with uh, frag grenades and EMPs. Now the EMPs are because I want to complete the challenge and really don't need a f sensors anymore. We've got the drone. Sensors are just kind of there to, to have fun with. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I will be talking to you when we complete the mission. Hunter, Overlord, you're going to be doing a little guardian angel work down there. The more chaos that crowd creates, the better your shot at Bukharov will be. Stay out of sight, but make sure the crowd gets where it's going. Copy that. We need to get a good view on what's going down. Let's take position up on that roof. Uh -huh.
You gotta be kidding me. Bad time for PT, sir. Can't be more than 15 flights. I feel like someone should be rolling barrels at us. Hey, why the hell did we just ask him to drop us up on the roof? Hey, if you wanted to sit around all day, you should have joined the Air Force. Yeah, well, if I'd wanted to climb stairs all day, I would have joined a gym. Oh boy, man, I can't wait to come down all these steps again. I mean, I mean, this is, well, it's amazing. Uh, this is a real moment in history we're witnessing here. I've just learned that deposed President Volodin has joined the procession. Uh, President Volodin himself has joined the march through the city. Incredible. Uh, we can see that his supporters have rallied around him and are staying close to him as a sort of uh, shield, if you will, uh, showing their total support of him. They seem willing to protect him at all costs, though so far there doesn't seem to be any need for the protection. Hunter, 
heads up. You've got hostile choppers inbound on your position. Copy that, Overlord. We don't want these guys trailing us. Secure the roof. Clear! 